what's going on everyone? This is going to be another unboxing video, but since this is something small and something that won't appeal to everybody, it's a PCI card, I figured I would combine this um, unboxing video with an installation video. So if you guys like uh, when I work inside my computer, if you like seeing the components I have and everything, then this is going to be a video that, you know, it's just going to be sort of a lean back sort of video. Uh, just me unboxing something and then me installing it and then booting back up and see how it works. So um, the first part of this is going to be an unboxing and this is a SATA controller. If you guys have been watching my YouTube channel in the past you know, month or so, you'll know that I have a solid state drive. And my uh, motherboard, the Gigabyte X58A UD3R, the SATA controllers aren't the best thing in the world. And so because of that, I don't get the full speed of the drive, even though it's hooked up to SATA 3. So that's what this is going to do. This is, I hook the hard drive up to this, and then this is a PCI card, and from there, the controller in this um, PCI card should let me get the full speed of my drive. Right now I'm getting about 200 megabytes per second less of a, of a write, of a read, and about 100 seconds less of the write. So this should boost things pretty well, and I've um, heard very good things online about it. So let's just go ahead and proceed with the unboxing. So we have a little tab there. And here we go. And of course, you know, they have a driver CD, which I won't even be needing because I'm just using it with OS X. This card isn't supposed to work with OS X, but it just does. It just works. <laughs> but um, there's like a little schematic, I suppose. And, you know, a bunch of really interesting stuff. So I can show you how to install it. <laughs> Please prepare a floppy disk. That is so current. Anyway, let's go ahead and just take the tape off this. And here's the actual card itself. And even though this does have, you know, the short, um, I'm not exactly sure PCI what, but um, I will be putting this into a regular PCI Express slot, so the card will not take up the whole slot. However, I only put it in there because my PCI Express slots will get the full speed, whereas this slot of my motherboard will not. So as you can see, that's where you plug in your SATA. This has two connections on it. There are some that have some on the outside, but frankly, I don't know why, like, if you have like a SATA external hard drive, that's the only reason I could see putting like I wouldn't want wires coming out of my case. But um, yeah, that's pretty much just the card, and this is why I'm doing an installation video as well because this would be a very short video. So with that said, let's go ahead and install this thing. All right, so here's the side of my case. So I'm just going to take these screws off. I have two thumb screws on the side. I'm sure you guys have seen this in the past, but you know it's just a relaxed video. Just you know, if I'm going to go inside my computer, I might as well record it, right? So the screws are off, and the, sort of the side door is coming off. And if you guys remember, I have a wire here connecting my fan, which needs to come out. Which is a very simple process. As you can see, we are now good to go. And now I will focus on the area of interest. Alrighty, before I get started, I just want to show you guys what I'm talking about with those other slots. So as you can see, those uh, little white ones there, those are the regular PCI that this card is supposed to go into. However, if I plug it into those, I really won't get any speed boost at all because those are faster than a solid state drive. Or, sorry, those are slower than a solid state drive. However, if I plug the card into one of my bigger um, PCI Express 2.0 slots, then I will get the full speed of my drive. So while this card looks like it's way too small for the slot, and it is, it will still work. So I'm just going to go and back out now, and hopefully this isn't too boring for you guys. Alright, so here's the card. And the first thing I'm going to do is take off the little um, things over here. Alright, the first thing I'm going to need to do is to take off these little screws here so that, you know, the other side of the card has somewhere to go. So I'm going to go and do that now. And this has never been taken out before, so it's probably going to be um, tight-ish, so I had to have a screwdriver. Sorry for the arm cam. And here we go. Alright, that can come out. As you can see, it just kind of fell there. And here you go. So now that's a little open space. So here's the card. And I'm just going to go, and it's going to go right in this little blue slot right here. I'm going to try my best not to block it, but I really can't make any promises. <laughs> this is going to be sort of an awkward angle, but I'll try my best. Alright, so it's lined up. And it is now installed correctly, so I'm going to put this screw right back in there. Once again, sorry for the arm cam. Right, the PCI card is now in. Okay, so now I actually have to plug in the solid state drive to my controller card. And so here's the SATA port, for, uh, the SATA cable really for my solid state, plugged into the um, SATA 3 port. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug that.
All right, as you can see, it's now out. Now I'm simply going to pull it through, and it should be able to just thread right on through. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little for you guys. Okay, and now that can simply go in over here. Okay, so here's the cable, and I'm just going to simply plug it in. So hopefully I'm not blocking you guys. There we go, and now the card is plugged in. So the disadvantages of this is pretty obvious. I have now a cable stretching across there, but if I get the speeds advertised on this drive, one cable here will be worth it. Okay, upon further investigation of this uh, SATA card, you actually have to go into MultiBeast first before your uh, solid state drive will boot with it. So um, that's a big thing. If you ever decide to get a SATA card, especially this one, the ASM1061 controller chip, if you decide to get that, then you will have to go into MultiBeast and install a Kext before you'll be able to even boot into your hard drive. What I recommend doing is having a backup Lion partition or a Snow Leopard partition, just something that you can run MultiBeast with on a hard drive that this won't affect. And um, with just the regular hard drive plugged into the regular SATA ports on your motherboard, boot into that and from there install that Kext in MultiBeast to your solid state and then reboot with your solid state and it should work just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and boot up my system for you guys. So as you can see, it's now on. And we have monitors. As you can see, using PCI Connection 2, or Gen 2 rather, SATA port, as you, as you can see, it's uh, the OCZ drive, so that's very nice. So it just lets you know it's working right off the bat. And of course, now we're just booting into Macintosh SSD. You guys can see what I did there. And it's counting down. And here we are booting OS 10. Alrighty, so there's my login screen. I'm going to grab my Apple keyboard and type in my password. And as you can see, stuff opens up very fast. So, actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up. Blackmagic um, disk speed test. Grab my magic trackpad real quick without clicking it. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and zoom into this for you guys, and you guys can see how fast this is. So you can see write speeds, we're getting about 380. Read speeds, about 360. Oh, that time it broke 400. So as you can see, I'm right around the 400 range for both read and write, which is very, very fast. Uh, this card definitely boosted my write speeds. Before, my write speed was about like 280 or something, so it boosted it about 100 megabits per second. And that's simply just because the Marvel controllers on my motherboard just aren't as fast. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just you know, a brief installation and unboxing. So if you have any questions about this card or where you can get it, I'm at CPU Kid. You know, if you have any questions about installing Kext or MultiBeast or anything like that to get it working, it's not too hard of a process, but I can help you with that. So before this video gets any longer, thanks for watching.